Yes, he's their, uh, certainly the key forward. Wills played in two grand final sides for Geelong. Snaps at goal. Looks pretty good. He's got it. So the Dockers hit back and take the lead again. 4-2 to four goals. The Dockers in front. Midway through the second quarter. Short pass into Wolf. Still in the centre square. Now he thumps it long. Hutton gets to the back of him. Wills who kicked the last one. Can he keep it in? He does pretty well. Kick by Wills, bounces! Oh, I think it's a goal! That was a tremendous piece of play. Peckett forcing him to the boundary line, but Wills just with that little bit of turn of pace there, being able to step around and on the left foot, if you don't mind. Might be just a tad too far out for a drop punt. That proves to be the case. Everett in front. At the back, Wakeland. Burke plays a tackle. Waters. Still he goes, Waters. Durke threaded them from everywhere last week. Oh, don't tell me he's kicked that one from the boundary. 6-2, <laughs> the Dockers literally in a purple patch. 6-2 to four goals. Both former Hawks. Ben Allen from right half forward. Captain's kick. Oh, great mark to man. Superb use of the body. Joseph at the best. And Peter Mann you would almost say Terry from point blank range. It is a, doing such a fine job there. Once he's been able to claim the front position, Danny Frawley lacking a couple of centimetres in height comparison to Peter Mann. Uh, Danny was always going to have his hands full. So Peter Mann for his first score of the day to increase the Dockers lead from 10 points. He makes it 16. Concedes a ball ground at Keogh. Kick by Keogh towards the 50. Coglin's back on. Oh, what a mark by Ridley. Look at Ridley over the top of Coglin. He went up early and got the straddle on him. Going St Kilda's way. The recipient of the free kick is Anderson. Another Hawthorne Premiership player. At the back is Jones. A little bit of interference there. Kick it. Umpire lets it go. Oh, beautifully done. What a ball. And another one. Still he goes. Almost ran too far. He did. Gee, that's tough. Tough but correct. Clean bowls him, comes to Mann who's been good. Devonport skirts around, went the bounce. He's holding the ball, says the umpire. And the free kick goes to Muir. Muir straight up the ground to Hutton. Oh, John Hutton, a good mark. Have a look at the tackle in the middle of the ground. Devonport went for the bounce and came back to him. And the second time he dropped it like a red hot spud when tackled. Man takes the mark. Very good work from John Hutton there. The way in which he let out, marked the ball so well, got back quickly off the mark and saw Peter Mann just out towards the right of him and he was able to slot it perfectly where Mann was able to take the mark. Well, Peter Mann's been excellent. Kicked the goal already. This is his 13th disposal and his second goal. Miller getting his second, and the Saints really need something to happen quickly. Coglin, a little give. Anderson from half forward, hacks it from midair, and a great mark taken by Scott Chisholm at centre half back. In this quarter, Fremantle 4 3 to a goal, so they're dominating in the third turn. Muir, run down from behind, good tackle by Smith. Lyons is the umpire. Milton Hall just back on the ground off interchange. Thumps it long to full forward. Miller the only hope. He's small. Can't punch from behind from that height. Look at Peter Mann roving the pack. Mann gathers 20 metres out. Hooks it back and I think he's kicked it. Both very short players. The back pocket and the forward pocket. And the roving done by Peter Mann. Being able to knock it out in front of himself. Gather it up. And then if you don't mind on the left foot. Slot it through. <laughs> very good player across there. And uh, he is providing exactly for Fremantle. What St Kilda haven't got. A focal point at centre half forward. Again, the Dockers with the numbers. It's flipped up to Kickett from Ridley. Oh, lovely balk again by Kickett. Great skills onto the spider. Burton from half forward. He's gone across the ground, looking for McManus. McManus snares it. Right on 50. Still he goes. Draws one player. That's Brown. Goes at goal and has kicked it. Great goal. Now, man. Allen. Could kick a goal. Durke loves to kick them. 40 metres out, twists, turns, and kicks another one. Norwich had taken from the kickoff and had carried it some three bounces. Right beside him all the way was David Muir laying on Shepherds. Then the play was able to continue on. It was Ben Allen being able to butter up and 
Gary Durke in the right spot as a half forward flanker should be. What a scoreline, 105 to 59. St Kilda, fresh from a win over Carlton at this ground last week, are getting belted by the league debutants. Smith, number four, went without it. Norris has been very good all day. McManus, his hand pass was pretty high, but Burton was the one on the end of it, just as well. Burke, here's Burton again. Oh, nobody's coming <laughs> towards him, so he's got a weak. Muir spins through the tackle. Man has given Frawley a headache. Here comes Durke again for another one. Two in a minute. I think all the credit needs to go to Jared Neeshan. He hasn't taken anything different to what these boys have been doing for the last three or four years within the Waffle League. He hasn't altered the game plan, and I think that similarity between Waffle football and what these players are playing now has aided their acclimatisation into AFL football. Still he comes, Anderson. Oh, Muir! What a leap! He's been good. Sensational grab. Look at the mark again. He hung there, Terry. It's a great jump, isn't it? Uh, usually a player uses his knee to be placed on the opposition shoulders. Well, he'd be a league coach. Stan Elves, cock of the walk last week. Bottom of the jar tonight. No mark taken out there. Delaney. As I said, he's got Anderson as an opponent today. Or now. And man. I don't want to influence Terry Wheeler's decision about votes, but I think he'd certainly be in your considerations, Terry, wouldn't he? he kicked from right on 50. Bree's not a factor. And he's got it. And, uh, St Kilda at half time certainly had their chance to go on with the game, but since then it has been all three men. In the last quarter, it's been six goals, three to three behinds, and two of those three behinds have been rushed, conceded by Fremantle. Muir's hand pass out to McManus. And he sprints off down the ground, looking for movement. Man might get five. There he was. It comes to Durke. He goes for another one. Has kicked it. <laughs> well, he's kicked four, three in the last quarter. So for two weeks in a row, Gary Durke has kicked four goals. Where was he in all those weeks in the waffle? <laughs> Who knows? What a smile. He's found his skipper, Ben Allen, who's had a great last quarter. Kick by Allen to the point of the square, and here's Peter Mann again. It wasn't Danny Frawley out, Mark, but Wakeland, and Mann is lining up for his fifth goal. You know, the Saints just three behinds in this last term. The Dockers so far have kicked seven for the quarter. And Mann gets another one. Norrish, gee, he's been good. Waters. Long kick into the forward line. No mark taken. Wills. Well, he kicked some great goals in the second quarter. There's the siren. And the siren robbed him of one, really, because it's gone through for a goal, but it won't count. And so, in the end, it really was no contest. There's the best man on the ground. I think we'd all agree with that. 2011, 131 Fremantle, winning at Waverley on their first trip here in a Premiership match. Easily defeating St Kilda, a very disappointing St Kilda lineup after half time, and the Saints goalless in the final quarter. Let's go to Russell Morris downstairs. I've uh, got uh, Peter, I've got Clinton Wolf, mate, um, sensational effort, first time at Waverley, good win. Yeah, we knew he had to come out hard, especially after we watched the replay last week, and St Kilda really fired up, so first 10 minutes we really tried to make sure we went in as hard as possible, and we sort of evened it out and then slugged it out. And, uh, Last 20 minutes of that third quarter, we really sort of hang on and then we ran over the top, so worked out really well, yeah. Were there any plans that Jared put to you before the game about St Kilda after watching against Carlton last week? I uh, just uh, try and hit the man receiving the ball, really, and I thought Jason Norris did a fantastic job on Robert Harvey, yeah. I think. Yes, I mean, you can't, like, restrict him to less than 20 possessions, but what he did, he just did the best that he possibly could have done, and full credit to Chuck for that. And you're a bit of a, a cold figure over in Fremantle now with a shaved head and all that. Are you handling that all right over there? Uh, try and stay out of the way as much as possible, but uh, Big Spider seems to get the bulk of it, so I'm quite happy about that, and he played well today. So just hopefully we can keep on a roll now and stay in the eight and see how we go in September. Thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of the year. Thanks, Russ. OK. There's the two heroes and a wolf and a spider in Fremantle. 60 to 131, 2011 to 9-6. We'll take a break.